What's up, video? It's Sufan from TechCycle. Tutorial to install Android Nougat on PC is second most watched video in my YouTube channel, which got 12k views. And uh, in this video, we are going to update that video as Android Oreo for PC is released. So, in this video, we are going to do a tutorial about installing this Android Oreo on a PC. So, let's get started. This tutorial is going to be a very simple tutorial. We are not going to deep into every sort of things that I'm choosing, that options that I'm choosing. And if you're having doubt why I'm choosing that or that, you can just comment down below. I will be guiding you on that. And if you're having trouble like installing this Android Oreo, just comment down below. I will be there to help you. So I doubt the first link in the description that is the ISO link. Download this Android ISO. There will be two files, 64 bit and 32 bit. Go download the 64 bit if you are going for a virtual machine and if you got a 32 bit PC, download the 32 bit. 32 bit is the x86 and 64 bit is the 64 in the name. If you want to install it as a virtual machine, you can follow this guide and if you want to install it as a separate OS for your current OS, that is dual, you want to dual boot this with your current OS, just make this ISO file a bootable device by using Rufus or just copying this file inside this ISO file to a pen drive and booting your device into BIOS and choose boot from pen drive and follow the guide after this timestamp. And if you want to install it as a virtual machine just follow the guide along. So add out to the second link in the description that is the Oracle virtual box link and download this Oracle virtual box, install it and open this Oracle virtual box. And if you are facing any installation error just comment down below I will be there. After opening this virtual box, choose new and it will pop up a dialog box from there, choose Linux, Linux 64 bit as we are installing the 64 bit Android Oreo and give it name Android or the name you want to be your virtual machine. After giving name, press nest and allocate RAM, I prefer you give maximum RAM for your virtual machine as it can make your virtual machine a lag free environment. After that, choose your hard disk type as VDI and choose dynamically allocated and allocate maximum size for your hard disk. I am preferring 8GB because this is only for this tutorial. And press create. It's going to create the virtual machine. Just don't start the virtual machine as we want to configure this virtual machine. So it is going to give us an lag free environment. So add out to this virtual machine settings, this Android virtual machine settings. Go to system and from processor, allocate more processor for a virtual machine and Add out to display settings and allocate more video memory for your virtual machine. By doing this, we are giving more resources to the virtual machine, so it's going to give us a lag free environment. After allocating all resources for your virtual machine, add out to storage and choose add optical drive, choose disk, and choose Android ISO file. After choosing this ISO file, press start, it's going to start this virtual machine. It's going to show you guys the GUI of the Android Oreo installation. And if you want to do a test run on this Android Oreo, choose Live CD. And if you want to install this Android Oreo, choose install. We are going to do that. So choose install. And it's going to jump you into a GUI of choosing the storage selection. That is the choosing the hard disk for your Android Oreo. By using up arrow, choose create or slash modify new partition from the it will open a command line interpreter like GPT partitioner. From there, choose new, press enter three times and enter the name for your virtual hard disk. I'm going to give it Android and press enter. It's going to save that into GPT partition and you want to write that to your VDI. That is your virtual hard disk. For that, choose write and type in yes and press enter. It's going to create a new virtual hard disk and after that, you will be redirected back to this GUI window. If you are installing Android Oreo as a dual boot, you need to be more cautious about doing this because you may sometimes delete your important data. So make sure you are following some guide or you can just comment down below. I will be there and don't do anything because it's going to delete everything. I have experience on that too. From the GUI window, choose the hard disk you created that is the android and press enter it's going to ask you to choose the data type just choose ext4 and press enter it is going to format your virtual hard disk 
you don't need to worry about that there is nothing in that which is after formatting it's going to install this android oreo on your virtual hard disk while installing there will be three pop-up menu just press yes on all that all those three pop up it's nothing more so after installing this android oreo there will be run android and reboot just choose reboot if you are on a dual boot condition enter to bios and choose boot from our disk and if you are on a virtual machine add over to device optical drive primary ide and from there choose remove hard disk from this virtual hard drive and choose force unmount after that power off your virtual machine and reboot your virtual machine it's going to boot your virtual machine into android oreo don't worry about the first boot because it's going to take a lot of time for me it took about roughly 10 minutes to boot up so it will take time after booting this android oreo you will be setting up this android oreo as same as that of your setting up it on a mobile device so there will be no problem on that so that's all about this installing android oreo on your pc guys i know this tutorial is not going to be a in-depth tutorial it's a very simple tutorial it's like pressing this, this, this while installing some application it's like that i did not go deep into any of these things so if you are having trouble or if you are having confusion just ask below i will be there so that's all about this video guys if you think this video sucks hit that button if you think this video is awesome hit the like button and stick with us so you might find something interesting